Finally, in rural Mississippi, a determined effort to break the cycle of illiteracy. Cynthia McFadden and Jennifer Garner travel there to meet the people behind it. Quitman County, Mississippi was the poorest county in the poorest state when Dr. Martin Luther King visited here in 1968. Residents say he cried after seeing so many shoeless children. Since then, not much has changed for the better. Half of the young adults here are unemployed, part of the legacy of slavery and racism. This is uh, Kind Street. Yeah. Now a pastor, Michael Josell was 14 when Dr. King visited. Well, it's not quite the poorest county anymore, but it's right there at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we still, still there. So, 55 years later, NBC News is taking a look at one factor in persistent poverty, illiteracy. Could your parents read? My mother, she went to eighth grade and had to quit school. My father went to about third grade. He knew how to write his name, but for us being illiterate and reading, he couldn't. Even today in Quitman County, 48% of adults struggle to read at even a basic level. Yeah, All reasons the pastor's wife, Dr. Evelyn Giselle, launched a new preschool program, the Early Learning Academy. We're trying to show that when you intervene early enough that you're equipping young people to become better readers and ultimately better leaders. Oh, you can help me. The idea is simple, a souped up version of Head Start with high quality teachers, small classroom size and a curriculum highly successful in getting kids ready to read. What does B say? Good. And it's paid for by Save the Children. The parents that we work with, they wake up in survival mode. How can I put food on the table? How can I keep my lights on? So education is not at the top of their things to do list. But does that make them a bad parent? No. May I play too? Jennifer Garner, a Save the Children ambassador for the past 15 years, came by to take a look. We don't connect so many of the problems that teenagers and young adults are having with the fact that Somebody failed them at the beginning. Yep. And you know who's failing them? We are, as a society. The government should be funding programs like Early Learning Academy, not just here in Mississippi, but at all over the country. Whatever you do, do not give me a hug. Garner herself grew up in West Virginia and is a vocal advocate for children who live in rural America. We have people who see no hope for the future, and that splashes backwards onto their kids. Wake up, wake up, what do you see? One goal, giving kids the skills they'll need to succeed in kindergarten. If you have not developed those skills and you get to kindergarten, it might be really frustrating for you. And over time, that can lead kids to give up on reading and handcuff them in poverty. If you're educated, you can stand. If you're illiterate, you walk with your head down. When you see those little three-year-olds over there, the brightness of their face, it tells you that these kids can go anywhere with a helping hand. I got army guy. The pastor says these kids give him hope that Quitman County is getting ready to rise. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, Quitman County, Mississippi. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.